I Nerd King 101 here, and today I want to talk about whether or not Boruto is going to surpass Naruto in the Boruto anime and manga. Now, the first thing we need to establish is exactly what Kawaki said to Boruto in manga chapter 1 or anime episode number 1. He said, and I quote, I will send you to the same place I sent the seven. Now, what does that mean? That doesn't necessarily mean Naruto is dead, but I like to hope it does. Because if Naruto continues to live, it will be very hard to make a compelling narrative. Naruto literally maintains the peace by being alive. He's too powerful. He can move at the speed of light. He is moon level, possibly planet level. I know some people like to throw around some lines from the last that uh, equate to Naruto possibly being planet level. I don't necessarily agree with that. I think he's moon level at most. But I think that was a little bit of wanking. But that's besides the point. The point is, is that Naruto is really, really powerful, and so is Sasuke. And I don't think you can tell a story about Boruto becoming a great ninja with them in it. Because they're always going to be there, so whenever a real threat emerges, you're going, the fan base will wonder, why don't Naruto and Sasuke deal with it? They're Naruto and Sasuke. Why don't they deal with it? And that's just going to be all the time. They'll always be wondering that. So, the point is, is that you need to remove Naruto from the story. And then it comes down to, how do you do that? Do you want Kawaki to surpass Naruto? My opinion on this, and this is pure conjecture, pure speculation, is no. I don't think Kawaki is stronger than Naruto. That's the most important thing. I don't think Kawaki straight up murdered Naruto. I think there was obviously a battle. That obviously happened. I mean, the Leaf Village is destroyed, but we don't know when Naruto died. Naruto could have died five months before that battle, and everybody could have been in hiding, and they could just be battling in the ruined, destroyed, hidden Leaf Village. We don't know. Maybe he fought Naruto, and then he left. Maybe he fought Naruto, he was heavily injured, he left, came back, like someone like Sakura with the Hokage, he one-shot her, and him and Boruto fought. We don't know. And then the village was destroyed. The point is, is that obviously a battle happened. The question, though, is whether or not Kawaki could kill him. I don't think he could. I think Naruto would destroy Kawaki. What I think is going to happen is I think Kawaki is going to be a Blackbeard-type character. What I mean by that is I think he's going to resort to trickery a lot, and I think he's going to be very conniving and scheming. I can definitely see Kawaki maybe kidnapping Himawari and Hinata and using them as, like, human shields, maybe making them into some sort of pseudo path of pain, like the way people use the Renegon, maybe he can find a way to do something like that. I'm just throwing out ideas here, but I would feel it would be the most intelligent move would be to use Nor Hinata and Himawari against Naruto. You, the people he loves against him, have me manipulate Sasuke and Sakura, make him fight them, more specifically make him fight Sakura, then making him fight Sasuke wouldn't accomplish much besides destroy the village. Well, the thing with making him fight, yeah, you know, that's actually very logical. They, they may maybe manipulate Sakura and make him fight her. Because the problem with that is Naruto can't fight it all out against her. He would kill her. And he wouldn't want to do that. Make him fight people that are strong enough to hold their own, but weak enough that he has to hold back. That's one thing they could do, they could poison him. We know in the manga, guns have been introduced. And Naruto, a lot like Dragon Ball, the same kind of principle. When you're on guard in Naruto, avoiding things is easy. But when you're off guard, you can just get shot through the head with a bullet. So maybe they're going to introduce like a sniper rifle, and somebody just going to go, snipe, shoot Naruto through the head. So they're not stronger than him. They're not going to win in a straight up fight with him. But it's a lot like the Captain America thing in Civil War. For those of you that don't read comics, in the Marvel comic version of Civil War, Captain America is arrested at the end. He turns himself into the police, and they arrest him, because he notices the destruction the war had caused. And what happens is, is that on his way into the courthouse, a sniper rifle, a villain, I believe Crossbones in the comics actually, like, shoots him through the head and kills him. Like, he has killed him, like, it would probably be something like that. Naruto going to work one day. Naruto walking around the academy to 
strolling around the village playing with some kids, he gets sniped through the head. That's a possibility. They could poison his food. Like, there are plenty of ways to kill Naruto without straight up overpowering him. And doing this, killing Naruto like this in a way that isn't overpowering him, such that it is a sense of beating him in a fight, would mean that Boruto wouldn't need to surpass Naruto. What you do is, you take out Naruto and Sasuke via poison, sniper rifle shots, or things of that matter. Then you introduce Kawaki as the new top dog. But make him, you could then, then you could say Kawaki is, you could say he was pain level. The same level of Nagato or Itachi. You could say he's like really, really strong. He's not Naruto level. People throw around the idea that a theme in Naruto is that the next generation always surpasses the old. And that is somewhat true, but you have to look at people like Madara and Hashirama. No one from any generation after them, up until Naruto and Sasuke, was touching them. Hashirama's granddaughter is so pathetically weak, they're not a in comparison to him, it is actually laughable. So to say Boruto needs to surpass Naruto because the new always surpasses the old is just not true. I like that idea, but honestly, Naruto and Sasuke are too powerful for me to believe their children will surpass them. I just don't believe that. The thing with Madara and Hashirama is, it is much more realistic and believable to say there were these two demigods that existed like 50, 50, 70, 80, 90 years ago. Tons of people died, tons of people trained, and then like three or four generations later, Naruto and Sasuke show up and they're stronger than them at by the end of their uh, teenage lives. That is fine because like over 50, 50, 70, 100 years past, you're telling me Naruto and Sasuke reached a level of power that hasn't ever been attained in history? And then less than 13 years later, somebody else does the same thing? That just doesn't even align with the power, with the power creep of the rest of the theory. Look with Madara and Hashirama and the gods here, then you slowly went down. You had like Tobirama, Haruzen, then you had people like Itachi, Minato, Nagato, all those guys. Then you have the Kakashi, the Sakura, those guys. Then you had Naruto and Sake. It was like modern Hashirama. They went down, went down, went down, went up a little bit, went down, went down, went all the way past Naruto and Hashirama. I meant Hashirama and Madara. The point is, is that Naruto and Sake being surpassed already wouldn't make sense. But people that are saying, well, Naruto was stronger than Hashirama when he was 17. I'm like, yeah. And Hashirama had been dead for like 70 years. Like, that made sense. So, will Boruto surpass Naruto? I honestly don't see it. He's being set up as being like a prodigy, but Naruto's just so powerful. I don't think they're going to take Naruto out of the story in a straight up fight. I think he'll have a fight with Kawaki. I think Kawaki's gonna be really, really powerful, but I think it's more likely that he'll fight Kawaki after Kawaki pulls out a new trick. Perhaps he'll pull out some fancy trick, him and Naruto will fight, but Naruto will have been previously been poisoned or during the or whole fight. Maybe it'll be like Goku vs. Golden Frieza. Naruto will beat Kawaki's ass. He'll be like, get out of my village. And somebody will stab him through the chest. And maybe Sasuke will get shot through the head with a bullet. I don't know. But all of those scenarios seem more likely to me than Naruto and Sasuke just straight up losing. They're just too powerful, and it wouldn't really make sense for them to be surpassed within, like, 14 years. Also, I don't see Ninja Attack giving anybody a big enough advantage. I'm sorry, Konohamaru took out that machine gun, that, like, the minigun thing, uh, Ao had, or whatever his name was, in the manga chapter. Konohamaru took that guy out. You know what Naruto would have done to him? That gun was nothing on them. That statement that guns are dangerous to ninjas, I just don't buy that. If a regular Jonin can one-shot it, I'm sorry. But like the, like, Naruto, Sakura, Sasuke, Itachi, Kakashi, they're gonna, they're gonna destroy these guys with their little guns and their ninja tools. I mean, it's not even a contest. So, yeah, Naruto and Sasuke are too strong. So that goes into the question, should Boruto surpass Naruto? 
would it be narratively interesting for Burroughs to surpass his father? I don't think it would be. I think it would be more interesting if the story is about Burroughs trying to surpass his dad, and at the end of the story, the narrative is that Burroughs realizes how great his dad was, and that there was no point in trying. That his dad was the greatest ninja of all time, and he shouldn't try to surpass him, that he should be his own man. The big thing is, why should Boruto be stronger than Naruto? Who cares? He doesn't need to be stronger, he just needs to be useful. Let him serve the villain in his own time, in his own way. I think that would be really interesting if, 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 if instead of achieving a goal, like in most Jonin protagonists, he fails to achieve that goal, but learns a lesson from it and becomes his own man. He learns that there's a wall he can't break past. There's something separating him from surpassing Naruto that he can't get past. And instead of trying to break past that, he's like, you know what? No. I'm really good. I can protect the village now as I am. I don't need to be as strong as Naruto. He can be like Itachi level, like Edo Itachi level. Edo Itachi with like fondling Kabuto. He can be like that strong. I feel like that would make a lot more sense than what we got. I just don't think it would make sense for Boruto to be that powerful. And I would much rather him stay below Naruto and learn a lesson. Learn that he can't keep up with Naruto and be satisfied with that. Because his goal, his arc, should be about learning how great his dad was. And understanding the importance of the village and the Hokage. And then realizing, okay, I can never surpass my dad, but I can protect the village from the shadows. I think that would be an incredibly interesting character arc for Boruto to undergo. Perhaps he could leave the village in the process of getting there, I don't know. But I definitely don't think he should surpass Naruto. And if he does, I don't think it'll be believable due to the reasons I've stated in this video. So, as for how Naruto died, he'll die getting taken out with some, uh, via some other method. Most likely a gun, the poison, or like a hostage situation. Or some plot power crap, like, we're in the village, I can't use my full power here. So where he's holding back, or something like that. I think that's all much more likely than the situation where he doesn't do anything and he just straight up loses. I think that's all much more likely. Same goes for Sasuke, so that is how Boruto could beat Kawaki and still not surpass Naruto. Because Naruto and Sasuke wouldn't be overpowered by Kawaki, they would still be stronger. They would just be taken out via another method. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave it a like. I also want to start doing Naruto versus battles. So leave versus battles that you want in the comment section down below. I have like three plans that are probably already recorded by the time you're seeing this. If they're not, leave other ones in the comments. You must have already seen those. But you know what I mean. Tell me what you want to see in the comment section down below. Tell me your thoughts on whether or not Boruto should surpass Naruto in the comment section down below. Like the video if you enjoyed, and subscribe to Nerd King 101 for more awesome content.